for life. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. We're here at the annual Turkey Rod Run here in Daytona Beach at the Daytona Motor Speedway. And as you can see, this is a huge swap. You name it, it's here. I don't care whether you want figurines, whether you want t-shirts, whether you want car parts, Chevrolet, Ford, Chrysler, everything is here. As a matter of fact, I'm walking over here and I'm looking at some really cool stuff. And since we're in the hot rod mode, vintage hot rods, I'm standing here with my old buddy, Jay. Jay's sitting back there waiting for me to walk up and say hi to him. Hey, Jay, how you doing? How you doing, Robert? Yeah, you always have some really cool stuff. Now, the thing that caught my eye with these spindle mount wheels here, tell us a little bit about those spindle mount wheels. I can understand it. Those are real Halibrand, and they're early Halibrand because they have the name San, or City San Francisco on them. Those are 12 spoke spindle mount magnesium wheels. Would have been popular like in the real late 50s into the 60s. And uh, So, what would you use those in? A gasser and all types? Some guys use them on the dragsters. Those are more like funny car because of the wider wheels and tires. The tires are vintage uh, Goodyear Blue Streak sports car specials. They kind of go in the right era for the wheel. Period, correct tires. What are some of the other, I know something else you got here. I know you got some yeah. nailhead Buick valve covers, aluminum. Yeah, those are the factory. They used them on the Grand Sports. There was two different versions. I think these one, these came off a Riviera Grand Riviera. Sport. Okay, cool. What else you got around here? There's a dual quad intake for a small block Chevrolet. Yeah, that's a later. That's an air gap intake. Been sitting there for a while. I guess nobody wants it. But okay, you got some vintage Hemi valve covers. Yeah, those are industrial valve covers. Not real common, but not terribly rare either. Mm -hmm. What else we got over here? We got some. What about all those aluminum flatheads? In fact, this thing right over here. Tell us about this. This is pretty cool. That's I like a, this. That's a fixed Took a while to acquire all the pieces. The re the air cleaners reproduction. But the heads and the manifold are real thing. They're original made back, I guess, in the 40s. Heads are very hard to come by. Mm -hmm. They made covers for them, and the covers never fit. Oh, they really? didn't understand the metallurgy when they started to change the, or uh, bring them out of the mold. They lost their shape. I see you got an old Fenton intake manifold, a uh, two two barrel for a uh, flathead Ford of some kind, right? Yeah, the, the Fenton and the Sharp, the two up on the outside there, they're kind of rare. The other stuff there is not terribly uncommon. Is uh, old flathead hot rod stuff pretty popular these days? I do very well. It depends on the show I go to. Like if I go to the North Carolina swap meet at Charlotte, mm -hmm. the Charlotte Auto Fair, that kind of stuff does well there. Do another show over in Western North Carolina, uh, an AACA show, and it seems like the crowd is a little more into the flathead, maybe a little older crowd. Okay, cool. I see you got some more spindle mount wheels and some straight axles out here. And yeah, the, the wheels are moon. Oh, moon? Wow, that's a rare, that's an old classic game. Even though they're not in prime shape, they still have a lot of value to them. Interesting. Well, Jay, thanks for uh, spending a few minutes Robert, with us here. And, nice talking to you. Yeah, you take care. Take hey, care. if you want to find out more about our video edition, uh, check out Speed Culture. And don't forget our Speed Culture app where you can find anything automotive. The new Speed Culture app available on Apple and on Android. Let's go walk around and see what else we find here.